Hey folks, Rico Rocks 2001 here. I'm making a video response to a YouTuber who made a video similar to this one. Um, this would be from Swinkier Zero. I'll put his video in the description, but I want to do a video similar to his. Um, what he did was he took a RVL001 Nintendo Wii uh, and swapped drives with a 101. He had a broken 001, so he took the drive from a 101. So I thought I'd do something similar to that, except I'd do the other way around. I bought a new drive from uh, eBay because I was actually going to fix a uh, RVL001. This is not my Nintendo Wii. This is actually a friend of mine. My Nintendo Wii is actually down there. And it, I've had that since 2007. It never broke. It works perfectly. I still have it. So anyone who uh, can give me advice for homebrewing, that'd be awesome. I'd appreciate that. What I want to do in this video is basically... Um, I had a blue Nintendo Wii uh, that I bought years ago. Um, in fact, um, I have it in pieces right now. Um, this is what the shell looks like. It was the blue Walmart edition Nintendo Wii, if anyone's familiar with that. What I was going to do in the future is uh, take the guts from my Nintendo Wii and stick it in the blue shell. I thought it would look really cool that way. That way I can have a blue Nintendo Wii that plays GameCube games. Okay, back on topic. Um, Let's go ahead and fire up the Nintendo Wii. The question is, can you use an RVL001 drive and an RVL101 drive? I'm going to go ahead and point the TV, the camera at the TV. I'm going to power it on. So here we go. Let's cross our fingers. Oh, that's a good sign. I hear the drive moving. Unfortunately, I have a... No Wii remote synced up, so I'm going to have to sync one up. Luckily, I have this blue one that matches. It did not come with the system. I actually bought it separately. I would appreciate a blue nunchuck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's not much on this Nintendo Wii, so... And the time's wrong. I'll go ahead and grab a random game. We've got Wii Party. This... Oh, no. We play. I do have Wii Party. I just grabbed this one and I, without looking at the box. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and pop this in the Nintendo Wii. Actually, let me go ahead and point, just so you can get both. Let's go ahead and pop it in the Nintendo Wii. Will this work? Can I... Oh, 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 we're getting something. I'll go ahead and point at this screen, just so you can. Yep, oh, recognized it. Now let's go ahead and eject that one and stick a GameCube game. Just out of curiosity, if this will actually work with GameCube. But I gotta warn you, since this does not have GameCube controller ports, you're gonna have to do a hard reset on this, so. I'll go ahead and grab a GameCube disc. I'm gonna grab, um, hmm, let's see. No. Of course, most people would scream, ha, Try it with melee! Okay. We're about to find out what happens. Oh. Ha ha! Let me show you that it's actually spinning. I don't know if you can see that, but... Oh! 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 Look at the screen! That actually works with GameCube, but I wouldn't, uh... But just out of curiosity, just to prove a point, if you were to start this up, there are no GameCube controller ports on that Nintendo Wii. So, but just out of curiosity, yeah, it won't work with Wii uh, accessory. You would actually have to, uh, to get it to work with uh, GameCube uh, adapters and stuff. I hope you know how to use a soldering gun. This does have the ports right here for the GameCube compatibility. But, just to prove a point, I better take Melee out of here. But, that, but I just wanted to experiment with you guys just to prove a point that <laughs> if you want to buy a RVL101 but use a drive from a 001, it does work. I, to factory reset this guy, you have to take the disc out and hit reset on the console. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. And power it off. There we go. 
All right, but that's to prove a point that that's what happens if you stick a 001 drive in a 101 console. It will work. But if you want to use the GameCube controllers and stuff, you will need to learn how to use a soldering gun. As for the memory cards portion, my best bet is to find, uh, find some from a broken 001 board that has corrosion on it. So that's my video. Thanks for watching.